Hey everybody, welcome to episode 15 of Wednesday Worship. Today, I want to take a chance to focus in on the Psalms, which is sometimes referred to as like the worship book of the Bible. And what an awesome opportunity we have to read these words that people have penned well over 2,000 years ago. Sometimes as far back as 4,000 years ago. It's crazy to think that we have these words that were written by somebody who worshiped God with all of their heart, who worshiped God enough to write it down and to proclaim his name. And we have that opportunity to read these words and give them back, to hold on to them as, a, as an opportunity to just praise God for everything that he's given us. So I wanted to read three Psalms today. Psalm 100, 148, and 150. So as I do that, think about how you can just give God all of the worship that you have, all of the glory that he deserves. So we're not going to sing today. We're going to listen to these psalms, these songs, and we're going to concentrate on the words, the lyrics, if you will. So make this your worship. Make hearing God's word your worship today. May you proclaim it out loud. And then when we're done, may you find a song that really speaks to you. And may you go and just have a quiet time and listen to that song and worship God through it. So here we go. Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know, know that the Lord is God. And it's he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He gave a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding, you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and cedars, wild animals and all cattle, Small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. He has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all the saints of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. And then finally, Psalm 150, the last psalm in this book. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything in all of creation sings praise to its maker. Everything gives glory. And if we don't shout out as a church, as a people of God, the world will. Jesus said it himself, the rocks and the stones will cry out if we are silent because creation loves to worship its maker. So we have a great opportunity every single week when we gather to worship God and give our all to him. That's why we play instruments. That's why we sing. That's why we clap our hands. That's why we raise our hands. That's why we offer them out and surrender. That's why we shout. That's why we stomp our feet. Because we can't contain the joy. The joy that we have is irresistible because of the love that he had for us. So may you proclaim his name. May you shout it out. May you sing it out. May you potentially even look like a fool in your car as you worship to songs. I know I do all the time. I, people probably wonder about me. But may you proclaim his name. May you hold nothing back. And may you give, it a, give him your all. Because he gave everything for you.
worship the Lord this week. Read his psalms and find a song during your quiet time that speaks to you and allows you to just soak in the presence of God. Have a great week.